connect and stay ahead with Salam Media. This is Salam Media coming to you live from South Africa. The time is just gone 8.36 a.m. and uh, it's time now to go across to Syria and we're joined by Sister Masih Saluji. And uh, this comes uh, against the background of uh, the arrest of uh, Bilal Abdul Karim and uh, his subsequent release after six months. Now, uh, Masiha is living in Syria. She is a South African and uh, she is now uh, joining us this morning to talk about this release of Bilal Abdul Karim and what it means. Sister Masiha, Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Uncle Inayat? Alhamdulillah, how are you doing, Sister Masiha? Alhamdulillah, very well, Alhamdulillah. Right, Sister Masiya, obviously we are elated, we are pleased that uh, Bilal Abdul Karim has now been released after six months. Uh, and uh, I know that you've been uh, pretty close and you have been following uh, developments as far as Bilal Abdul Karim is concerned. And just to refresh uh, uh, briefly, uh, just some background uh, with regards to his arrest and some of the issues of circumstances that led to his arrest. Okay, so Bilal was arrested about six months ago. And um, uh, to be uh, fair, there wasn't a lot said about why he was arrested at the time. They were very quiet in regards to why they were arresting him. Of course, a lot of things circulated at the time. Uh, it was known that just the week before he was arrested, Bilal had put up a, a video, actually not even the week before, in the week of his arrest, he had put up a video of, of um, the torture of brother Tokir, uh, Tokir Tokshari from Britain. And um, uh, of course, uh, you know, it wasn't too well received on their end. Uh, he was arrested about a day or two after that. And he's been arrested for six months during that time. To, no one has a problem with arrests being made in terms of if a person is really guilty of a crime. And there are certain things which they have now charged him with. They said that um, he is arrested due to, uh, firstly, uh, having relations with uh, people whom they considered uh, on opposing sides, people who had attacked HTS in the past. And also they said um, uh, that they were arresting him due to uh, inciting people against them. But um, uh, the problem with this, the whole process is that all of these accusations were only made at, at the time, shortly before his release. He was, uh, I, I, I saw him about, 12 days ago, uh, no, less than 12 days ago, about 10 days ago, his family finally got to meet him for the second time in six months. And I was there at the time. And at that time, he was still waiting for a decision to be made as to his case. So up until then, they hadn't sentenced him to anything. When the uh, During the, the past 10 days, they apparently had a court date, a trial, and a sentence. And in that time, they said, this is what they're accusing him of and um, sentencing him to one year. And since then, they said, based on the requests of people, prominent people in the community, they are releasing him early after six months. So it's a case of like, be happy you're actually getting only half your sentence. But this came after six months of him not even being 100% sure what he was being accused of. Of course, I, I, I'm not, I'm again, I'm not saying he's innocent in anything. I've seen some videos which could be construed as, uh, you know, uh, inciting people. So I understand, but it's just be clear about what you're saying and, and, and be straightforward. If you have proofs, do it in the proper way have the sentence being made before you arresting people and this is the problem which people in syria have with this with this these kind of situations is that there's no due process you don't know what is happening to people family members have no idea uh, how people are being held what they, what is being done to them when they're being held when they will be released up until a few days ago he didn't even know that his sentence was six months uh, was sorry was one year that he'd be let out after six months Yes. Now, also, uh, Sister Masiha, uh, we know that uh, uh, his matter has been uh, an issue that has uh, raised uh, international attention as well. But also, as far as the British government is concerned, uh, this was quite a major talking point where a very little or no effort was done by the British government also to secure his release. Uh, the American government, yes. In fact, oh, sorry, they the American have, government. Uh, American government, yes. 
they they actually have a case going on with him because he um he raised a matter against them and he got his lawyers in america to take it to court where they um uh they droned people in syria and and civilians were killed in the explosion and of course it's in their best interest not to do anything to to see to his welfare because as long as he's out of the picture even these kind of issues you know are, are not even paid attention to well, certainly. Now, uh, now that uh, he has been released, uh, does this mean that all charges against him are dropped? No. Um, in fact, even now he's been he's been released on on uh, on. Sorry, just one second. Okay, go there in a minute. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm. Um, take take out of the room. I'll now. Um, uh, in uh, they've actually released him on conditions that uh, within the six months that is left, certain things not be done. I think media is included, so he can't really report much of what's going on here in the remaining six months. I'm not sure how many of those conditions will still stand even after. It's sort of parole, basically, for the next six months. I'm not sure uh, what will be decided after those six months are over and how um, how much he'll be able to do in terms of media as well. And uh, just looking at him physically and uh, health-wise, uh, is he still okay? Alhamdulillah, is well. He's obviously lost weight, but uh, that's expected in terms of food and things. You know, it's not the kind of food you have at home and stuff. So, uh, but Alhamdulillah, he he says that he wasn't ill-treated or anything. Alhamdulillah. So that's that's a very good sign. Alhamdulillah. Yes, and uh, just to uh, digress slightly, uh, moving away from Bilal Abdul Karim, for you personally, obviously, a lot of effort, a lot of work that you are actually putting out there at this point in time. Uh, you know, what are the latest developments, and especially now with the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, the vaccine rollout, all those type of things, uh, you know, are these issues playing out uh, where you are as well, Sister Matsya? Um, there has been reports quite of quite a lot of COVID cases and that, but um, Alhamdulillah, for most part, our numbers are still low compared to uh, what is happening over there. Um, uh, even t in terms of social distancing and things, there, there isn't much being done on the general in the general scale of things in terms of schools. Everything's carrying on like normal. Alhamdulillah, I I don't know of too many deaths. There has been, but but not as much as as in other parts of the world of course some people are saying this is just the beginning and like we've seen in south africa the second wave came a bit worse than the first so we make dua that you know allah keeps everyone safe and yeah just protects those who are in these situations that grants them full recovery and accepts those who have been uh, who have passed away shuhada i mean I mean, Jazakallah so much. And as always, for your time with us, uh, Sister Masia, we wish you all the best. Allah accept, Allah reward your efforts. I know tremendous effort uh, on your part as well. Great sacrifices that you have been making. And uh, Allah reward you fully for all the good that you are doing. And Jazakallah to you again for coming on, talking to us here at Salam Media. I mean, Barakallah, Fik, Jazakallah khaira, Uncle Inayf. Allah keep you all well and, and uh, reward you for all your, your efforts as well in spreading the truth. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Masih uh, joining us this morning against the background of the release of Bilal Abdul Karim.